Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Whip the Dash presents Taking the Realm for Viking Conquest. And this is a quick how to convert your people <clears throat> as politics in this game. There is religion. And uh, I wanted to go ahead and do a quick tutorial on that just, you know, just so people, if they want to get ahead of the game and kind of understand some of the concepts. Um, this happened to just pop up as soon as I loaded my game. So I figured, I was like, oh, great, this would be perfect for the video I just wanted to do. So, conversion. Now, as I'm going to go ahead and read this, because I can explain things, it says, Two proposals come before you one day. One from a scarlet young priest called Absur, who proposes building a church in Skewen, which is one of the towns that I own. He promises to instruct you in new knowledge that will increase your intelligence in return. Another man, upon hearing this, pushes himself before you. He is hulking, great-bearded warrior who overshadows Osper completely. He suggests that the funds would be better used on a training camp, and he promises to teach you a trick to increase your physical prowess. Now, <clears throat> obviously in my um, direct decision-making on this, I'm obviously going to go ahead and build the church because this is where... Um, it is a very big, big factor in this game, um, religion, conversion, because you, I, th I think I've explained in previous videos um, about their relations with people. Well, in this relation, when you have, you, more people will favor you. There will be a lot of more um, things that you can open up, um, a lot of opportunities. Um, I want to say more windows of opportunities will open up more dialogue options. Um such as this, and it would be to the best of your benefit to choose wisely whether you're going to go and do, you know, go follow the Norse gods, or you're going to follow Christianity, or the Odinists, as we have here, um, they're very, very, those are your warriors, those are your Valhalla, excuse me, those are your Valhalla warriors, those are your people that are, that's all about the physical um, conversion by the sword. What you can do, um, if you choose to be, if you want people to convert by the sword, um, the devastating effects, I can say in the long run, they will convert eventually because the sword, you know, chopping up a bunch of heads off, you know, that, that might make you change your mind, wouldn't it? Um, but in a situation like this, conversion, you can do it by the sword, but it's not necessarily going to work because after a while, they will turn around and as soon as you leave, garrisoned or you leave them on um, how should I say supervised then they will turn around and convert back to their old gods as it will notify you in this game so <clears throat> I want to go ahead and choose the church first since I'm I'm following my Christianity here and uh, I'm gonna try to convert the world it seems to be Now, it's also given me a s third option here. I can do both. Now, I'll tell you why my decision-making might be... Um, I could just go ahead and do the church and not do anything at all, but I think I'm going to go with the third option and get there you go and get the best of both worlds. Now, I can go without the physical prowess because the game will allow me to mod myself up to physical prowess where I can take out hundreds and hundreds of warriors myself along with my party. So... I'm going to go ahead and do both. I'm going to make both parties happy because you can't make everybody happy in this game. So it's all cool. So in part of your conversion, um, I don't want to make this a very long video. This is just a quick tutorial for some of you guys who are jumping into this game and kind of getting the aspects. Um, the conversion part is a little bit tricky. So now that I've got my town here skewing, now, I apologize for my graphics. I'm doing low resolution and all this just for the, my recording. And so I get my frame rate, as you can see up there in the top corner of the screen. I want to keep that at a steady frame rate, so I don't want to lose that. And I'm using the DirectX 7. A lot of people say that DirectX 7 is incompatible with this game, which this game lets you know that DirectX 7 is compatible with the game. It just gives you a little note. Hey, does not support, does not support. So anything should happen, whatever. Um, we move on. There's plenty of... Um, ways to address that and fix that as I've learned to come into this game this game if you use DirectX 9 
pray to God that you've got a very good, <clears throat> excuse me, pray that you have a very, very good system or you do have a good system that holds HD and some of the new gen computer systems who hold the 4K and the high definition HDR, which is our new technology, it came out in 2016. So if you guys want to go do that, do that. But you can enjoy this game in low graphic settings, and you can use it with bare minimum graphic settings, but there are a lot of picky OCD gamers out there, so I don't want to offend. I'm going to back up both sides. I would love to play in HD, but for the time being, I'm content. So <clears throat> now that I've uh, made my point on conversion, I'm going to go up here to my little, um, I want to say my establishment. These are all my cities, my towns over here. Um, I'm using um, <clears throat> a lot of, I want to say, money to get a lot of places. So I, I will say this, and I can go ahead and show you guys this in my inventory real quick. I'm not afraid to do that. Uh, 396,000 pennies. Now, obviously, I've boosted myself up there, so I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to be honest. Also, in my kingdom coffers, which is my bank account, I guess you want to call on here, with your uh, minister, he can hold up. I don't know what the max limit is, but right now I've got about 300,000 sitting there. So my backup money, if I need to be. Um, so anyways, money gets you a lot of places, and you will spend lots of money in this game I will just say that you will spend lots of money the qu that's the quick way out normally now here we go I have a problem now I want to convert my people into Christianity but I have this little establish establishment over here now that's Odin's cave it's not where I'm gonna point point out at here Odin's Hof now Hof is normally just like a little monastery for um, your Norse followers of the Norse, the old gods. So I'm going to go ahead and travel here. Oh, 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 what are you doing? No, 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 don't, don't walk across the water. You can't do that. I'd use my ships, but I'm going to go instant travel here. Key trick, um, control, control click gives you that ability to just instant travel anywhere. And obviously you have to have your cheats enabled. So we're going to go ahead and move into this little establishment now. They will feel the sword. Now, here is something about the Hof. Now, the Hof is kind of like a little monastery. It says convert to Norse God so I can change to my Christianity going to the Norse gods, which I'm probably not. Or I have this little option. I can pillage it because, as you can see here, it says you arrive at a Hof in these places, the old gods, the Norses are worshipped. This place is certainly treasures wealth this place certainly treasures wealth now I take that very 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 lightly but you know whatever I'm gonna do it for the love of Christianity in this in this in this aspect but I will say this um, your character your relations and everything and it does show you know all the lords all the the holders um, shows that they have the Um, what they follow. So you can always check your relations now. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to slaughter some of these guys now. This will be a, this will be an amazing feat because I can just get off my horse now because I'm wearing some special armor. I don't know why it's not letting me go into rampage mode, but okay. But anyways, there's a berserk mode. You can uh, your religion also follows with special powers and abilities which can alter your gameplay in some situations. Oh yeah, get somebody. Now these poor innocent priests, they're dying by the sword now. It's not my fault because you're on my land and you're worshiping gods that I do not approve of, so therefore I have no mercy. Hence the name King Bloodbath. Doesn't sound like a very... uh. Christian type name yes I know I didn't think about that when I was uh, jumping into my religion status here just because I wanted to have some standing in the realm now I'm standing in the uh, like I said I, I, I'm I think I want to say I jumped into the sandbox 
campaign which is another option if you don't want to play regular campaign which gives you the ability to either start as a peasant which is the very beginning it's pretty much there is no storyline quest which means you make up the quest and the storyline there are plenty of quests but you're the one that decides what you want to do you want to know what your end game is you're the one that decides your end game and you also have the ability you either start as a peasant you can be as start as a lord a uh, vassal of somebody's court you know to follow somebody's liege and follow a commander yourself or you can become the king yourself and start as the king which is what I did for the first time I was the first ability that I picked because I just thought it was amazing that you could start out as a king and have your own territories right off the bat which is unlike you know Mountain Blade Warband which you cannot do because of the simple fact that you have to work yourself up there and it takes quite a time which I've even with the some of the cheats I was using it took me clearly 10 days just to yeah to take over the realm and take over the last castle which I just find this game more interesting because there's a lot more land to cover there's a lot more things you can do now this time this time around in this in this game I'm making my villagers happy because if you do not have people that are happy they will not follow you they will resent you and therefore you will have more assassination plots against you like I said we're in the times of I want to say the dark ages as I would call it the dark ages where you know the sword the axe and the spear were your ways of diplomacy and not shaking hands and making alliances so those are kind of my like favorite I love spears I love throwing I, I did and I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys this I thought this was a funny thing um, all my gaming history you know I'm almost 30 years old I'm, you know FYI but playing so many games, I said, you know, why don't they, I, I just want, I'll play a game where I, you, I can kill somebody with throwing a rock, or kill somebody with spears, I, I just give me a spear or a rock and I'll kill somebody, that was my own big motto, just give me that ability, and I went from console gaming to PC gaming for a little bit, and this is what I found, so as I'm going to read this real quick, um, changing subjects. It says, Blood and treasure. Those of your men with fewer scruples proceed towards Odin's Hof, killing anyone in their path and plundering its riches. The fire and death sweeping the place are rampant. You plunder spoils of war are worth 200 peningas, which is the currency. King Bloodbath of the Blood Rain Empire, which is me. The majority of your troops are pagan and hate your action now. Here is a consequence for what I have done. So if I went and pillaged a monastery, which is you know, the Christian establishments, probably would have made them mad. So, now I'm going to go ahead and leave since I already plundered it and looted it. Now, see, I'm making those guys mad, but eventually, like I said, my plan is to convert the realm as King Bloodbath. So, I'm going to go over here. Now, as I'm talking about some of the relation factors in this game with the conversions, I'm going to also talk about some of the modifications you can do for managing your own cities and your towns. Now, this is one of my main cities, my main port, obviously. I need this. I didn't want to give it up to a lord. Now, here's something you can pay attention to. Every city and every town that you're going to walk into, this is what it's going to tell you says, the prosperous towns of Tunsberg is bustling with activity. The market is humming with activity as traders from far and wide come to do business, leave while some am, some migrants stay to seek their luck. You are greeted by men loyal to Hersir Easting Olafsson, which is one of my lords. I handed this city over. says, Christians aren't welcome here. The populace is indifferent to you, but it's own, that's a positive too, so that's pretty good. It says, it is late at night and honest folk have abandoned the streets. So, every city that you're going to come into, it's going to let you know, hey, Christians or um, some of the Norse will say Christians are dominant here or Christians are not dominant Christians as you can see Christians are not welcome so I handed the, this city to this guy because I built a slave trade market which ruins your reputation so there are things on here that everything that you do can increase or decrease your reputation which is a very big factor in the game so I don't have to worry about my reputation necessarily dropping. It is my kingdom, but I don't have to worry about it because I'm not the one running it. So we're going to go 
and I want to go to the mean hall. Okay, here. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go sell some prisoners. Now, obviously, since this is a trade market, and I do have a slave market here, it makes it a lot easier to sell my prisoners. Don't want to talk to him, but hey, uh, you know what? I'm I do might want to talk to him for a second. Let's buy everybody first round. I want to improve my relation with the city because they're gonna get mad eventually because of my conversion so he had some other options uh okay i don't really care for that obviously my guy in here my ransom broker is who i'm looking Ooh, ooh, another companion so I'm, I'm i'm stacking up companions in my party which is awesome because you always like heroes they have more health they can do more damage i'm going to go ahead and take him with me the more companions, the better. They have more party skills, I guess you can say. Now I'm going to go to the slave trader. So, as I'm making my way to slave trader, I just want to thank you guys for um, tuning in and watching this wonderful video. And hopefully it was helpful to some of you guys. And um, please do hit me back with feedback and any other questions, any other things you would like to know. Um, also, if you do enjoy the videos, I love the positive feedback. If it's negative feedback, you know, oh well, it's okay. Cool. I sleep good at night.